All right, man, walk me through this camp, obviously being healthy and, you know, out here 100 percent. How good does it just kind of feel to be back in your own Oh, it feels good, man. Like you said, last year around this time, I was on the side, you know, rehabbing. It's, it's feel good to be back out here. Obviously, you know, it's a lot of things you got to correct and get better at, but that's what camp for. Coach Quinn kind of described it as a redshirt year for you last year in some ways, just kind of take a lot of mental reps and, you know, focus on that. How important was that for your development this year? I mean, it really was, bro. I'm, I'm thankful and grateful that I got the opportunity to play last year. You know, they allowed me to go out there last year, obviously not having the offseason, made mistakes, and this year all about learning from the mistakes I made last year, going out there executing. You look like you're playing a lot faster. Do you, do you feel like that's you're moving at a different speed right now than any last year? Oh yeah, no doubt. I'm definitely you know understanding the defense, reading my keys, and just going out there, letting it all out, and just have fun. Yeah. How important is Leighton to that development for you? How much do you lean on him? I lean on Leighton a lot. You know, that's a guy. Last year when I was doing my rehab process, Leighton was a guy that sat in my rehab sessions with me. You know, he was a guy that always encouraged me. When I was standing on the side, you know, sad because I couldn't be out here practicing with the team. And when I got my chance last year, he was smiling from ear to ear, just happy for me to be out there. So Layton's a guy that obviously he's one of a kind. You know, Layton is, he's better, he's more, he's more than just a football player. Layton is a guy that really care about you on and off the field. What's it like when Deuce gets the ball as a linebacker I mean, in terms of, is it, is, it, is it tough to locate him at all or, or how does that go? I mean, he's got to play football and they're going to put their pe best people on the field. He's got to go out there and play. Okay, so his height isn't hard to... I mean, yeah, he, he's small. You know, we everybody sees he's small, but I mean, obviously Deuce is elusive coming out of the backfield. You better have your A game because if you don't, he's going to embarrass you. Mm -hmm. How, how's the room different this year? Because it's not just losing a veteran guy like Anthony Barr, but George Edwards gone and, and the like. So I guess there's... A different feel every year, but kind of some big changes. I mean, you got to, we got to just understand that it's a business. You know, obviously, you know, we have to step up. Younger guys have to step up, including myself. You know, Layden challenges us a lot every day. Uh, Scotty uh, challenges us a lot every day. We just got to step up to the plate because, I mean, come when we play in the preseason and when we play the opening game versus the Giants, it don't matter, you know, if it's a first year guy, third year guy, second year guy, 11 year guy, it don't matter. We still got to go out on the field and perform. You got three days of pads under your belt. Is it the intensity up between the offense, defense, the trash talk, and all that kind of stuff that kind of goes on? I mean, we're competitive. I mean, we don't, if you don't go out there trash talking, you ain't doing something right. So it's, it's competition. At the end of the day, we go off the field, we smile, and we're family. Uh, coming into this this season, well, I should put it this way, last season coming off the injury, uh, you were kind of thrown in the fire there with the injury to Anthony Barr, and uh, we talked about it a little bit in the offseason. It was it required you as a rookie to try to learn the playbook a lot on the fly. You played a lot of instinctual ball, but now three padded practices, full off season. Do you feel like the game is starting to slow down a little bit? Most definitely, man. It slowed down a ton. Uh, just going out there, trusting my keys, trusting I got the guys around me, trusting myself. Just going out there and play. I mean, it's the same game I've been playing since I was five years old. This defensive line, how much easier does it make y'all's job on the second level? Hey, when we got our D line doing that, second level make plays. Go out there, I mean, just make the play. How about how good this front seven can be? Everybody together, D-line, linebackers. Definitely, we just go out there, trusting each other, going out there, trusting what we see, and trusting the coach is going to put us in the best position, go out there, have fun, take a shot, make the play. What kind of opportunity What kind of opportunity do you think sits for you here at training camp? I mean, it's a big opportunity that sits here. Obviously, we got guys in the linebacker room that can play. I know I can play, guys in the room can play. Just go out there, be at your best every day. Because at the end of the day, we all competing to get on the field. Any early impressions of Mozzie? I love him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine as a linebacker you would. What, what, what about him? He's just strong. Like, Mozzie's strong. He he, he going to hold the gap up. He going to hold the block up. Just go make the play. That's it. Appreciate you. Good. Appreciate y'all.